All right, let's say we dive in with another reading from The Secret Language of Birthdays by Gary Goldschneider and Eust Elfers for June 13th, the day of far-off adventure. And here we have a picture of a of an oak tree with a house that's shaped like a basket. That's right, it's got doors and windows. It'd be a house that's a wicker basket. <laughs> hey, in any event, hey, is it June 13th and it's your birthday today? Well, if it is, I just want to say happy birthday. And if this video finds you long after that day has passed, well, I guess you got busy. That's good. So I hope you had a happy birthday. In any event, for everyone else who's just joining us out of curiosity, I just want to say welcome and I hope you enjoy yourself. So let's dive in. Your month is June, your day the 13th, your sign is 21 to 23 degrees Gemini of the Gemini 3 period specifically, and your quality and elements is mutable air. All right, June 13th, the day of far off adventure. June 13 people are seekers, absorbed in dreams and far-off places and adventures. And usually beginning in their youth, their reading and or fantasies fuel a passion for exploration of foreign worlds that stays with them for a lifetime. These adventures may involve actual travel to distant lands or be an investigation of mythology dealing with metaphysical worlds, with the past or with the future. More highly developed June 13 people often realize their fantasies, whether in business, scientific research, or art. The less ambitious born on this day, they nurse a Walter Mitty-like secret desire, and though they don't actually pursue it, well, such dreams bring color to their lives. They must beware, however, that acute frustration may build up due to the disparity between what they want to be and what they are. For those born on June 13th, quote-unquote, nothing is impossible could be a credo. They use their mind power to triumph over real obstacles and are most fulfilled when doing so. Again, the danger for some born in this day is that such triumphs only take place in the mind and are, in fact, a self-deluded and unreal state. If not jarred out of this condition, however, by being confronted with the truth, these dreamers can go along quite happily for years. Those born on this day admire persons with the courage to attempt impossible feats, heroes past and present. Such hero worship often fixates on one figure. Unfortunately, when this person happens to be the father of either my, uh, male or female June 13 people, this godlike idol of their own making can come crashing down when he descends to less than godlike behavior. Being the idolized father, for that matter, the mate, friend or lover of a June 13th person, although initially flattering, is ultimately too heavy for anyone to handle. Those born on this day must be aware of their tendency to idolize and control it for the sake of everyone concerned. Too often, June 13th people overlook the simple tasks of life and the daily maintenance that requires their attention, perhaps because they are so often off in their heads in the clouds, literally or figuratively. They love travel, climbing, walking, running, all forms of movement, and long to overcome limitations of matter, space, and time. For this reason, when tied down to the repetitive work of a factory, office, or home, they, must, they may bear the sad demeanor of a captive. It comes as no surprise that June 13 people are attracted to danger and risk-taking. It is not that they have self-destructive urges, but rather that activities like hang gliding, ocean sports, or mountain climbing give them the opportunity to lay it on the line as far as technique and courage are concerned, and push themselves to the limit and beyond. In this respect, such rugged activities are actually metaphysical in nature. All right, hey, let's move on to those born on this day. But if you're not interested in that, just skip ahead in the chapters to your numbers, planets, and tarot, etc. But I feel it's important we drill down on those born on this day so we know what company June 13th people are in. All right. Born on this day. 
We got W.B. Yeats, who was an Irish poet, a mystic, and a Nobel Prize winner for literature. We have Lewis Walker Alvarez, or Luis, rather, was a U.S. Nobel Prize winning physicist of radar and ground, of, ground control approach. We have Christo of the Christo and uh, Jenny and Claude um, artists. Uh, let's see, they are. A, he was a Bulgarian-born conceptual artist and famous for rapping landmarks. One of my faves. We have uh, Pavo Numeri, who's a Finnish long-distance runner and holder of 22 world records and three-time Olympic gold winning uh, winner, <laughs> winning winner. Yeah, that's right. We have C.J. Agricola, who's a Roman commander and leader of numerous successful campaigns. We also have Basil uh, Rathbone, a British film actor and famous for Sherlock Holmes. We have Don Budge, who's a tennis champion, the first Grand Slam winner, and he led the U.S. to two Davis Cups. We have Red Grange, the galloping ghost, and a football halfback, three-time All-American, and he helped form the AFL. We have Martha Washington, the first first lady, wife of George, and Dorothy L. Sayers, a British detective story writer. We have Doc Cheatham, a jazz trumpeter and singer. We also have Richard Thomas, a TV film actor. He was John Boy of The Waltons. We have Ali Sheedy, a film actress. Carl Heron Lockoffer, adventurer, physician, natural scientist. And a mountain climber, we have Dick Mann, two ends there. There's a race car driver, Ali Khan, Pakistani heir and auto racer, polo player and playboy, and died in a car crash. We also have Paul Lind, who was a comic actor and a TV personality. Fanny Burney, who was a British 18th century novelist and friend of Samuel Johnson. We have Elizabeth Schumann, a German concert uh, operatic soprano. And Henry Crown, businessman, billionaire. All right, moving on to your numbers and your planets. Those born on the 13th of the month are ruled by the number four, as one plus three equals four, and by the planet Uranus, which is both erratic and explosive. Since June 13, people are so often involved in far-reaching activities, whether of fantasy or reality, they must learn to keep the Uranian part of their, of themselves rather, under control. Following their logical Mercury, ruler of Gemini instincts, the planet Uranus indicates change, often violent and sometimes erratic. Unconventional behavior underlining the extreme nature of June 13th desires. Although the number 13 is considered unlucky by many, uh, it is rather a powerful number which carries the responsibility of using its power wisely or inviting self-destruction. Here is your tarot. The most misunderstood card in the tarot is the 13th card of the Major Arcana, Death which very rarely is to be taken literally, but signifies a letting go of the past in order to grow beyond limitations. Metamorphically. <laughs> Both this card and number four suggest that June 13th people must guard against discouragement, disillusionment, pessimism, and melancholy. And here is your health. From the foregoing character description, one might guess correctly that June 13th people are prone to accidents. Most are aware of this fact and thus take necessary precautions. It may be more difficult, however, for them to protect themselves efficiently in the psychological sphere, where they are prey to intense fantasies. In extreme cases, those born in this day can become psychologically unbalanced and the result of living in a dream world where frustrations are suppressed. Regardless of the degree of need, many June 13 people are ideal candidates for psychological counseling. They should, avoid it. they should avoid at all costs acting out on their children or parents, or the psychological stability of the family unit can be seriously undermined. Learning to cook various world cuisines can be a means of enjoying foreign cultures and when those born in the stay are unable to travel. All right, here is some advice. Of course, you should follow your heart, but do look to protect yourself on your quest. Beware of acting out on others. Remember that they may have their own problems also. 
Keep in mind, or keep your mind and your house in order, and study what is possible, and not at the present time. Let me read that one again. Study what is possible and what is not at the present time. I guess I read it right. just need to wrap my head around it in any event. Here is your meditation. The grass is always greener on the other side. And here are your strengths and your weaknesses. Your strengths, your psychic, your imaginative, and your adventuresome. Your weaknesses... You're danger-seeking, unrealistic, idolatrous. All right, your season is spring. Your sign, once again, is Gemini, of the Gemini 3 period specifically. And your quality and elements is mutable air. And this has been June 13th, the day of far-off adventure from the secret language of birthdays book by gary goldschneider and used elfers i have a affiliate link for this book down in the description so if you're interested in picking up a copy and finding out more about the zodiacs and seasons and all that other stuff and you don't want to watch any videos and just want to dive in for yourself hit the link go through there do some shopping support the channel and just pick up the book i highly appreciate it there's over a million copies sold for a reason as i like to say and you would do yourself a fine favor by picking one up or not who's to say in any event if it was your birthday today i just want to say happy birthday and for everyone else who just joined us out of curiosity well i hope you enjoyed yourself and i hope you join us on your birthday for your birthday reading that's right okay take care of yourselves